What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be following up with something we did here a few days ago on the channel, that being a 5 things that changed in Black Ops 3. That focused on going back and taking a look at what was different in the alpha phases, as well as in the beta phases of the game that we all know and love today. Now surprisingly, there's a bunch of stuff that really we seemingly have forgotten about, but today, we're going to be taking a look at 5 more, and I think this one is actually a really good one, possibly even better than the first one, but before we get too far into it, firstly, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I know a lot of people came over yesterday from Ryan's channel, or as you may know him, Prestigious Key. A lot of you guys did come over from the video I did over there on his channel, so hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, and welcome to the channel once again. Secondly, if you guys want this to become like a weekly series or something, let me know down in the comment section down below. I have a ton of fun digging around this kind of stuff, looking at old gameplays, and seeing what really all is different, because once again, there's a lot of stuff here. And finally, if you guys do enjoy the video, drop a like down below, really does help the video out, and if you guys want to connect with me a little bit more, Twitter is the best place to do so, that link is always down there in the description below. But without further ado, let's kick it off here with our first of five things today. I think we'll open it up with one that I was saving from last episode, but you all immediately thought of this one, so I promise I didn't forget about it, I just wanted to save it here a little bit so that I had something to follow up on and have a big hitter for this episode, but we actually have a couple that are big hitters, I think, but this being the way that we called it in streaks. For those that did not play the beta, you probably won't know about this, but it's the fact that when you used your streaks, such as the Hellstorm, the Lightning Strike, and I believe the Wraith as well, you didn't actually use a tablet like you do now. We used our hands. What I mean by that is that there was a hologram of the map that shone from your character's wristbands or mechanical arms that displayed the playing field. This played in heavily with the DNI and the cerebral control within the game, the idea that the soldier is synced with everything. It also plays in heavily with the multiplayer backstory that the entire multiplayer experience is a simulation of characters in their own regards, a secret hidden easter egg story if you want to call it that. But nonetheless, I think this was perhaps one of the coolest things of the beta, and it's really a shame in my opinion opinion that it didn't transfer over into the actual game. We never really had any public explanation as to why, but chatter from the developers indicated that it was probably a shadowing issue here and bugs that it just couldn't properly function with it like this. But regardless, it was a cool feature that's not out and we can wonder really what if. Next, we're gonna actually roll over to the campaign side of the game. And this is something that probably 95% of us won't have had the experience to test out for ourselves and actually probably even more than that. The campaign, usually until November, is normally off limits except for a certain special visitors to these studios. The footage that we see around E3 time just showcases some gameplay and some brief story, but that's really about it. But at the start of the game's period, as late as August of last year, whenever the beta was just about to get underway, Black Ops 3 was actually going to be a load different than any other previous campaign in the Call of Duty franchise. The world-famous follow icon, which indicates where we're supposed to go, how far away you are from something, and everything in between was supposedly going to be removed for Black Ops 3's campaign. Campaign. This would then allow for a more explorative playthrough of the campaign, and while no doubt the campaign does have a ton of little side pathways that you can take and explore a little bit, the follow icon still made it into the golden version of the game, that being the finished product that is Black Ops 3. Again, we don't really have any real indication as to why this happened, but it did, and I'm really quite curious just how well it would have played without the guiding direction but we may never know. So it's a cool little feature once again and really would have been neat to see how it played out. Now for number three, we're gonna jump back into multiplayer, but to a spot that might strike a nerve or some bad memories with some people. For those that don't remember, the early days of the PlayStation 4 beta, and I don't think it made it over into the Xbox One and PC beta because of how quickly it was fixed, but I could be wrong here with that. We're gonna be talking about Rejack. Rejack was by far the favorite specialist ability, with Nomad being probably the most chosen specialist in the beta. Why? Well, because it was quite simple, actually. You could essentially not die the entire game if you played your cards right, or rather, not break your kill streak. For those that don't know, Rejack allowed you to be revived without your score streak ending. The same then went for kill streaks as well. With that said, the pub stomping scene was pretty against the ability as Rejack nuclears were kind of disregarded as well because you could essentially die, but still keep your streak going as long as you got, say, four kills in that span of time 
that it took you to regain your rejack ability, get it activated again, and then the cycle would repeat. So as I'm sure you could imagine, rejack was not too well liked in the beta by players that did not use it, and I'm sure it was loved tremendously by those that swore by it, but luckily it was changed here. That's not something that is still in the game as of now. It counts as a death. Your streak is completely ended. You have to start over from the beginning, and honestly, a lot of the times it's a curse because you rejack back up and die immediately once again. So this was something that definitely was for the better that it was changed, but it is still a massive change to look back on and be like, man, that was, that was actually a thing. But as for number four, that's gonna keep us rolling here. Let's talk a little bit about a piece of equipment that you may have even forgotten was in the game. That is the black hat. This thing was nerfed to all hell and back as of recently, and I can tell you, I don't know exactly when I've even seen this last in game. And for it to be a level 54 unlock, it seems like it's a giant paperweight of the pick 10 system as of right now. But for those that don't remember, its current state is about the exact opposite of what it was in the beta. Back in the time of the beta, this thing was ridiculously OP. I'm talking within seconds of streaks coming in, it was hacked. Wraiths, gone. Hater, gone. Counter UAV, gone. Mothership, gone. Raps deploy ship, gone. This wasn't even taking anything like 30 seconds or anything. This was like 15 seconds tops. I remember raging so hard because every one of my streaks would get hacked and I'm just like, why do I even waste my time trying to get these if they're just gonna be hacked immediately? Now, I think it was right to nerf it, but I think to the extent that it is now, I mean, I'm not complaining, but it does seem like a little bit too much. Nonetheless though, this thing was absolutely OP back in the day and it's something that some people might not even know to the extent here of that now finally the last thing that I want to talk about here today is what was previously everybody's favorite game mode that being safeguard now safeguard is where feeders go people who want kills and while that aspect hasn't really changed all that much it has changed in the amounts and what I mean by that is that previously pub stomping was incredibly easy in safeguard and just like with rejack nuclears and insane gameplays were often disregarded because it was seen as a cheap gameplay or too easy to do. Now, why is that? Well, there are two main factors that separate it from where it is now. Firstly, the scoring. Not like team points or anything like that, but rather kill points. Currently, Safeguard offers you 50 points per kill. However, back in the beta, it was 100 points per kill and 150 points per escort kill or defender kill. And now we all know how easy it is to flank or take out a group of people just standing still on the robot. Add that all together and you get streaks crazy fast. Raps, Wraiths, and I can't remember what the other big one was at the time, but nonetheless, they were streaks that were really powerful, but they weren't the most high up because of the level caps at the time. Regardless, 100 pluses and up were easy to get. I even remember on stream back in August, I got 100 plus and I felt so cool because I was one of the first people to do it. But what made it even easier was that there was a chance to play two full games and have it count as one. What I mean by that is that overtime worked like a normal game. You had your first two rounds, five minutes each, and if at the end of that it was still tied, you're guaranteed two more rounds because you had each side going at it having their fair ups, if you want to call it that, and unlike now, there was no time cap rule where if you escorted the robot in two minutes, the next round would last two minutes. Each one lasted a full five minutes per round, so essentially you played four rounds each with five minutes, a 20 minute game here, a free high kill game is what this ended up being. Now, it would be beautiful if that was the case still now because a lot of cool gameplays could have come out of that, but really it's all up to preference and what you think of that. But nonetheless, that is gonna wrap up this five things that changed episode here today. Once again, leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below if you guys want this to become a regular series or rather something that kind of becomes a regular series because eventually we're gonna run out of stuff to do. But I can do more if you guys want some. Just let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help the video out and gets it out there to more people. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 40,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help and is of course greatly appreciated but my name is Nicolai Espresso I will see you guys later take care and peace